Hey gang, Jack Lair here, uh, just doing a pickups video. Uh, as always, uh, we'll start with the free stuff. Now I did go to Trader's Village uh, last week and found some things there. It's kind of a short trip, so didn't really keep a lot of the footage from it. Because we were just kind of there, found some stuff, and left. Now, as for the free stuff, let's start with uh, posters. Okay, so we start off with... Uh, Mass Effect 3, very nice, Uncharted, The Golden Abyss, Star Wars Connect, oh, I also have the standee for this, which is kind of cool, it's very, very big though, uh, Max Payne 2, and of course, Twisted Metal. Now, you guys know that I have uh, these nice cardboard things up on my walls. I use them as decorations. They're very nice. Now the thing that I picked up, I didn't know I, I got these because I just kind of thought they were the going to be the original cardboard things, but they're I mean they're like the plastic things and I thought there was one of them but there turned out to be four. Uh, Disney Universe which is where you dress up like all the Disney characters. Really cool. And the second one Soul Calibur 4. I have no clue what I'm going to do with these, but they are just really awesome. Uh, Ninja Gaiden 3. Can't get back far enough. Oh, light. There we go. I think you guys can see that. Ninja Gaiden 3. And the last one. I don't want to play this game, but man, I love the poster. Or whatever this is. I mean, this, this is something that I would hang like up on my wall and my wife looked at it too and she's she's not really into like the gaming art style and she said that this looked awesome as well and this is actually for Guild Wars 2 and it is just very very pretty and so I got those and like I said I don't know what I'm gonna do with them when I went to Trader's Village, I actually picked up some PS1 games, but since then, I've organized my PS1 collection, so I don't know which ones they are. Sorry. But, uh, I did actually get two Nintendo games. The first one, I'm just very happy with, 1942. 1942, uh, about as far as I get for the shooting. Of course, some idiot wrote his name down there in blue, and then some idiot went behind him and scribbled in little circles over the blue name in black, and then somebody else decided to write their name on there in gold. So I've got some cleaning to do, but happy that that is in my collection. Now the other game, I really didn't care about the game. Really didn't care. But the case that it came in is what had me sold. Now to start off with, the game is very chewed up. I mean, that's that's just not pretty. But, Double Dragon 2. And, the case that it came in, if I can put this back in the right way. Boom. Funko Land. You guys remember Funko Land? Before Funko Land got bought out by... EB Games, or Game, stop, did Game stop by EB? Game, wait, EB Games bought out Funko Land, Funko Land, then, no. Whichever way that happened, I haven't seen this in a while, and Funko Land is one of the places that was nearest me when I was a kid, so that's where I went to buy it. Happy that that is in my collection as well now. For Super Nintendo games, I only got two, and one of them is the illustrious Final Fight. Now it's really chewed up, it did come with the little uh, dust protector down there on the bottom and I loved Final Fight, I rented it a few times when I was a kid had some good memories of it and look forward to playing it again. But this, this is what took the cake. Now there's a bin, there's a bin sitting there with a bunch of games in it and five dollars each. I'm like, oh great. Now I've got to choose. So I'm rifling through, I'm rifling through, I'm rifling through. And I'm like, well, maybe I'll get this one. I don't know. This one might be kind of valuable. You know, a couple of them I could make a few bucks on, but I already had. 
And then one that I had not picked up because I had constantly been like, ah, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. The second game I ever owned for my Super Nintendo, Star Fox. Go ahead. Go ahead and say it. Do a barrel roll. Yep, yep. Later in the week, picked up some other things as well. Picked up uh, two PlayStation 1 games that I remembered because of one of them. The first one, nothing special, uh, Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22. Now it's missing the, the front cover, but it does have the case, and it's an, it's an alright game. Nothing to write home about, but uh, very nice game as far as fighting games go. As far as Dragon Ball Z games go, eh, kind of on the lower end. Now this is the one that got me, because I didn't know that these existed until I picked it up. So you learn something new every day. Now we all know about black labels. Black labels are the originals. We all know about green labels. Green labels are the player hits. But this is the first time that I had seen a white label. And this is a white label of Fighting Force, and I love the Fighting Force series. It's actually um, kind of my favorite 3D-ish brawler. I have Fighting Force 64 somewhere around here, and this, in the collector's edition, in with it were three different games. Fighting Force, Legacy of Kane, Blood Omen, or Blood Omen, Legacy of Kane, whichever way, and Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver, Soul Reaver, Legacy of Kane. I think it's Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver, Blood Omen, Legacy of Kane, whichever way that happens. Favorite series. Now, if I can find the white labels of those, I'll be really impressed. Now, I wandered around there, I'm like, well, there's got to be the rest of them, there's got to be the rest of them. But for those of you who, who do frequent thrift stores as well as me, you know that that's not always the case. And that's why I've got a crap load of Master System stuff, but no Master System. Because the store had all kinds of Master System stuff laying around, and no Master System. So that's the PlayStation games. If I do get it work, I get a little gift. And it's usually a little gift card to whatever. And I picked up Super Street Fighter 4 for the 3DS. And I've been having a lot of fun with this. Now, the, la the final boss, whatever the hell his name is, he is cheap as all crap. The 3D mode is for ages 7 plus, by the way. But I had a lot of fun, handed it to my son. He had a lot of fun. Of course, he, he pushes the touch screen to just do the super move over and over again. But we've been having fun playing this. We only have one 3DS, so we can't play multiplayer, but whatever. Now today I went back to the place that I purchased the other, uh, the other PlayStation games and picked up a few more. I uh, started out by picking up uh, the official Sega Dreamcast demo disc. It came with the magazine. Just a little bit of nostalgia. It was 65 cents, so I figured why not. Picked up uh, for 95 cents. I believe it's uh, Toka 2 Touring Car Challenge. And it's from Codemasters, so. But another racing game. And for Buck 31, uh, Cool Borders 2. Which I don't remember which of the Cool Borders is any good. I don't remember which of the snowboarding games is any good, aside from uh, a few of them. And Crusaders of Might and Magic sealed for 95 cents. Now, I don't know what system this is for. I'm pretty sure it's for just for PC. It says AMD on the back. But we'll find out. Now, the other things that I picked up. One, it's a PS3 game that I'm sure none of you have heard of called Mind Jack. Now this game did Nothing. I heard nothing about it, saw no reviews of it, but one of my friends uses Mindjack in the games that he plays online. I've known him as Mindjack for about 10 years now. I know his real name, but Mindjack is what I've known him as. Now, my son and I are kind of wandering around, and we find 
We're kind of stopping by a few places, and most of them are way overpriced. Like the Salvation Army near me? No, don't go there. But, we do stop by uh, a place that has some Game Boy games. And I'll kind of go through these real quick for you. Starting out with uh, Heroes of Might and Magic 2, or Heroes 2 of Might and Magic, depending on how you read that. Now, this is a Game Boy Color game, and it's actually, uh, if it's anything like the other Heroes of Might and Magic, it's actually fairly impressive. Next, the second one is Mickey's Dangerous Chase, and it needs a, a little bit of cleaning up. It's got some uh, initials on the back there you can see. And I was fairly impressed. These were all two dollars and fifty cents by the way. I don't know if they were supposed to be because the a few of them were labeled two fifty and the rest of them weren't. And I said, hey some of these cost two fifty. Are they all two fifty? And the lady's like, yeah they're all two fifty. Okay, sweet. So I also got a beautiful looking version of Kirby's Dreamland. Now I got I have Kirby's Dreamland and it looks just abysmal compared to this. I mean this is just this is just beautiful. There's a little bit on the back but that's about it. But there you go. That's it for me gang. Thank you very much for watching and as always play on! This... Oh, I got it sideways? I got it sideways. Jump cut! So glad I edit all this out as I fail in postering. Mickey's Dangerous Chase. Now this is in fairly good condition. Uh, has the oh, and I just spoiled it. Mickey Mouse's Chase or Mickey Mickey's Dangerous Chase. <sighs> what I got this week. I will kill you! Please don't make me kill you with 3D of them. I'm mesmerized by the camera. It's looking into my soul. Thank you very much for... Nope.